This is the Firestorm Show with your host, Jerry Pelto. Welcome, Firestormers. Welcome to another episode of the Firestorm Show. Today we have Dan Levitt with us. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thanks. So Dan is with Sandler Training. Um, and I don't know if you know, but while well, I was telling you earlier, that I actually was trained through the Sandler system, so I'm really excited to have you oh, on today. That's so great. <laughs> so but before, so the audience knows what you do, can you give them a little rundown about Sandler sure. and, and what you do? Sure, so Sandler training has been around for 45 years. Yeah. It's a methodology, it's very different. Um, it's having a system when you're in front of a prospect where you're discovering, are they a good fit for your project, or product or service? Can you help them? Can, you know, are they a qualified prospect? And it's, it's so much more discovering as opposed to what most salespeople do is show up and convince. Right, right. And that's, that's what makes sales hard and, and not very fun when yeah. you're trying to convince somebody. Yeah, no, and I, it was so fun chatting with you earlier because you were reminding me of all the training that I had, and that's one thing about Sandler that I remember. It's that we show up as salespeople and we're constantly, okay, we gotta get the sale, we gotta, and we're all thinking about ourselves. Right. And we're not, right. and Sandler really teaches to think about what is, you know, they right. want to buy something, mm -hmm. discover what it is that they need and how to help them, yep. so I love that. Um, so can you share, you know, what's one of the, I don't know, biggest success stories that you have, or one of the, I don't know, a story that where Sandler is really helping out yeah, yeah, so, I mean, very rewarding industry to be in because most salespeople never really get any formal training. Uh -huh. And, you know, everybody in sales, most people can sell, but it's about selling at a much higher level, closing at a higher percentage. And not only that, but having a system that's repeatable. So, uh, give you some examples of people that I've worked with recently. Uh, one gentleman was in our training. He, he owned a business, never really sold, had salespeople, but he decided it was time for him to be the sole salesperson. And he wanted a process to follow, okay. sales process. Got involved in our training, and after three or four months, he was, uh, his revenue was increasing 30 to 40% per month. Um, so that was one wow, I enjoyed, I, I definitely enjoy. And then, you know, there's various others that I could talk about, um, but it's, it's just a, a system that's yeah. really easy to follow. Yeah. And it's, it's really about questioning, if you will. Okay. Asking a lot of good questions. I like that. I really like that. Well, one of the things also that I remembered, we have a lot of fears when it comes to selling and does Sandler has a name for it? Um, yeah, it's, negative. We call it hidden head trash. Head trash. Yes. Um, and and that's that's a great point, Jerry. It's like the three things that we work with people on is the attitudes and beliefs, uh -huh. those hidden things that keep us from being successful. It's having the right behaviors, and then a system that you can follow every time you're in front of a prospect. I like the it. same system as opposed to just wing it. I like it. Yeah. So that takes the pressure off. And right. Great. So Dan, um, here's a question for you. Why you? Why you as opposed to another Sandler trainer? Well, it's a great question, Jerry. <laughs> um, you know, there's other trainers out there. I, the, the people that I work with, they tell me, gosh, Dan's really been able to have an effect on our sales process, a positive effect. We're closing at a much higher rate. We're significantly increasing our revenues. You know, so if those things are important to you, you know, you want to eliminate a lot of think it overs or working with too many suspects as opposed to really qualified prospects, um, doing a lot of presentations and sending a lot of proposals but not closing the, the type of business or the amount of business that you want. Mm -hmm. I'd love to share ideas with you. Great. I love it. Well, yeah. thanks for joining us today. I appreciate it. Sure, sure. Um, I appreciate you having me. Yeah. And uh, anything I can do to help the Firestorm group, I love it. I'm happy to do. So how long have you been a member with Firestorm? Um, just a little over a year. Okay. Yeah. Tried to meet some of the other groups around town. I'm in DTC. Okay. And yeah, it's just great. It's it seems like a great network. Good. Where people really want to do help, want to help each other. Good. Well, if you had any last advice for someone who's new to Firestorm or new to networking, what advice would you give them? I would give them the Sandler ask three questions when you're networking. Okay. okay. You know what what business are you in, and then two more questions that are uh, surround how they answered what their business is. So you show, what you show is that you really care about the other person. I like it. Not just what's your business and then hope they ask you 
what your business is. Yep. So it's the rule of three, three questions. What business are you in? Tell me more about that. What's that like? I like that. Going okay, a little and bit it, deeper. Yeah, yeah, it's more genuine. I love it. Well, thank you so much. And, thank you. Uh, Firestormers, I love what, what Dan had to say because it's, it's more about relationship building than it is about just passing out your business card. So thanks for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you again at the next Firestorm Show.